Hey guys, so I started on this year's Valentine's Day prep, so I figured I'd take a, the opportunity to give you some quick tips on how to store your tissue. You'll see in the video here I have tissue already cut. Uh, what I did is I bought retail tissue, which usually comes folded. I buy them from the dollar store or wherever I can get a good deal. So what I do is I cut them, I iron them just to get the creases out, any wrinkles, and then I put them in manila folders and I'll file those away just like regular files. Keeps them flat, compact, out of the way. Ideally, I would like to use a paper cubby, but I don't really have the space for that right now. So that's just it with the tissue. If you are making a lot, you could also go to satinwrap.com. You can go to Nashville Wraps and you can buy the large packs, uh, reams actually, of tissue. They tend to be a little bit more and I don't use that much so I don't go that route. Hopefully one day I will sell enough to where I can buy reams but this is what I'm doing now. Uh, as for my balloons, you will see uh, in the video bottom right corner I have the zebra foil balloons. For those I just try to store them flat in a box. I do have smaller balloons the really small kind and I also store those in the uh, manila folders and file those away. The large balloon in the video, the teddy bear one, I buy those from a company called Balloons Everywhere and their website is balloons.com. The uh, only thing with buying balloons from them is you usually have to buy five of each style but they're not too expensive. These large ones here I believe were about two something. I want to say 260 somewhere around there. I'm not quite sure so you'll have to go on and check but they're not very expensive considering what your um, what your profit could be. Um, another thing what else with those balloons you can get them helium filled I I might do that with some but I also just bought a hand pump which you see in the middle there it's the green thing with the black tip I just hand fill them with regular air put them on the balloon stick with the balloon cup and then I'll glue them down into my gifts. That just makes it simple, cheap, you don't have to worry about helium. Helium's nice but not all of us have a tank. Um, so that's it with that. I just wanted to share that, those quick tips just for people who are starting to prep if you're making a lot of gifts. Uh, so that's it. Subscribe. Thank you.